It's Newbury Thursday! Woo! And we're here in San Francisco. We're at Tornado with Big Daddy Dave King. And uh, this is the premier Belgian beer bar in San Francisco. And it's one of the coolest places that you'll ever get a chance to drink at. So, Dave, thank you for hosting us today. Absolutely. You guys are welcome anytime at the Tornado. Yeah. So, um, tell us a little bit about Tornado, the, the beginnings, why you started it, what you love about it. Well, we, we started in 1987. Uh, previous to that, I had uh, discovered Chimay Ale. That's what led me into loving uh, Belgians uh, to this day. Um, I loved uh, reading about the re-fermentation in the bottle. It led me to, to homebrew a couple times, and I <clears throat> quickly realized that uh, I wasn't a brewer and other people could make it better, so I opened a beer bar and started serving beers that other people make. And uh, that's how the Tornado got its start. Right on. A lot of people don't realize that uh, I've been coming in for 20 years, and this like this is a punk bar. It's cool at night. They play punk music. It's, it's awesome rowdy, night. loud. Decorated. But the passion that Dave has for Belgian beer, just you know, far outweighs everything as far as I'm concerned. It's mm -hmm. just what he's done and, and the history here as far as. You know, you were doing Belgian beer dinners before anybody even knew what they were. Yeah, yeah, we've been doing Bel Belgian beer dinners for the last uh, 18 years. You uh, also hold a version of the Hard Liver Festival here? A well, version? <laughs> the Hard Liver Festival? <laughs> well, we uh, have yeah. a barley wine festival. Uh, it started out as a, a way for me to uh, experience draft uh, barley wines. And the first time we had it, I think we had four. I put them on on a Sunday afternoon so I could drink them, and now that's grown to 53 barley wines on draft every February uh, around President's Day. Wow. Wow. So the correct statement would have been, Stephen, uh, the Brower's Cafe has a version of the Toronado <laughs> Barley Wine Festival <laughs> called okay. the okay. Hard Liver <laughs> Festival, because that's what Matt Bonney right. and Matt Vandenberg based it off of. Yes. They've even gone so far to uh, make it that um, they actually do a tasting that we used to do here in the back room where we taste a bunch of crazy beers for 12 hours there, and it's called the Keen Tasting after Big Daddy. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's, yeah. that was an amazing experience. So tell us what we're going to be drinking today. Well, um, it's morning here for the viewers, <laughs> and uh, one of my favorite uh, breakfast beers is Duval, and what we have is the special version, the Triple Hop Duval, and that's what we're going to be drinking today. It's a lovely beer. Open that's that excellent. up, Dave. One this, of the things this is a new beer for me. I haven't had the Triple Hop yet. Awesome. So. Yeah, you'll love it, John. Um, one of the uh, interesting things is when you walk into this bar, when you look to the left, there's a lineup of Duval Jeroboams yeah. and Magnums that have been here for so many years, and I just can't re remember all the celebratory bottles that we've had over the years. And uh, yeah, Duval is just the bottles an kind of frame beer. in the whole the whole bar. I really love everything about this place. Yeah, it the, looks the, the awesome. decor, it just, really when you walk bottle. in here, it's kind of like it's, you it's have a personal little beautiful. man cave. Yeah, well, that's mm -hmm. mine. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Perfect. That's what I wanted to hear. Big Daddy taking charge. So now, you know, we've known each other for a long time, but you were, did some of the, you actually were the first beer bar in San Francisco to put craft beer on draft. Yes. Um, here, let's all have a drink. Let's all have a drink. Right. Talk. Cheers. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I had uh, been enamored of Belgian beer, and then I went to a tasting uh, above UC Berkeley, and there were some microbreweries there, uh, Anderson Valley, Devil Mountain, and I totally was taken with the fresh flavor and what they were doing uh, with micro beers. And then I uh, started driving to these breweries and bringing this beer back. There was no distribution. They had no delivery. And in, even in the case of Anderson Valley, I bought kegs because they were a bottle only uh, account and brought, drove the kegs back so we could have different beers on tap at the Tornado. Um, became a, a lifelong passion, uh, craft beer and Belgian beer. You were, you were truly a West Coast beer hunter like myself, but you were actually going and getting kegs for your bar, which yeah. is amazing. Now, you didn't have a truck when you were going to Devil Mountain. In the uh, days, no, right? I, had a, I had a Honda Accord hatchback that I had... Um, taken the little cardboard uh, thing out of the back and put a three quarter inch piece of plywood in the back and I would fit seven or eight uh, Golden Gate kegs in there. Right. And uh, Devil Mountain was located on Walnut Creek and I don't know, it's the average temperature is probably 90 or something. Well, one day on the way back, uh, I blew the head in the uh, Honda so the delivery vehicle was uh, down because I, I didn't know when a 
Japanese vehicle overheats, you know, you're in trouble. <laughs> uh, you know, I just figured I was right. going to get water in it, but uh, right. the delivery vehicle broke down at that point. And, nice. Uh, we had to actually switch to a different vehicle. Now, yeah, you are pretty much responsible then for helping Anderson Valley get to where they're at today. Uh, yes. Uh, at one point, I was their only draft account because I had bought in the kegs. They, uh, I would drive up there, leave half there, bring half back. And I, I think at one point we were about 20% of the Anderson Valley sales. That's amazing. Wow. That's cool. Yeah, that's amazing. Significant. I just want to make one little point. For those of you guys who don't know what Golden Gate, keg, Golden Gate kegs are, <laughs> they're, they're hardly around anymore. And that publicans thank the Lord that they're not. Yes. They're the old style barrels like you see in old movies kegs that are rounded. And you can barely grip them. There's no handles. They're not made out of... What are, where were they made out of? Were they made out of? They were made out of still stainless. Stainless, but yeah, heavy and just awkward. Very oh, heavy. Yeah. Very awkward. I don't think I've ever seen one. Very hard uh, to tap. Nice. Yeah. Well, we uh, like we mentioned earlier, we're drinking Duval. This is the triple hot version. I'm very excited about this actually because um, the very first episode of New Brew Thursday, even oh. pre John and Brad, was with Duval. And oh. I, at the time, used to cons told, like all my friends considered me the beer expert. And now I watch that episode and I laugh at myself because I'm such a freaking idiot and can't pronounce the beer right. It's like, you know, have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, so it's, it, I'm, I'm personally grateful that we're able to give Duval another show to, and, and especially in such at, a fabulous yeah, place, you know? I mean, this is, right. this is the way to, to, to bring this, the Duval back on the, but this is a fantastic beer. Yeah. The triple hop version is, is amazing. It's, uh, you get all the nice, Hot character with the, the Belgian notes of the, the Duval, and it's just a fantastic beer. So it thank is. you very much for opening this for us. Oh, absolutely. Um, now, what a lot of people probably don't realize when they come in here initially is you are strictly a beer bar. There's no, we're, we're there's no food. We're a beer bar. No food, no liquor. No tap, no credit card. No <laughs> Bring tap. Cash. They have an ATM No credit machine. card. Yes. I like to think of it was a neighborhood dive bar that has great beer. Yep. And uh, that's, that's what we are. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to go next door to Rosamundo's and come back with what you can eat here, which is the, the amazing beer and, or German sausages that they serve next mm -hmm. door at Rosamundo's. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to have Bill do a master pairings for that. Very cool. All right. We'll see you in a minute. Hey, everyone. Welcome back. We're at a master pairings here at the Tornado. A little different. We're doing it uh, live. We got some great sausages. Sausages. Sausage. From sausages. Sausages. From, uh, Rosamunde, <laughs> which is a little sausage place that's nestled in the crook of Dave's heart in the Toronado. It's right in the center yeah, of, the tornado both of his room. Yeah, because the Toronado hooks around like a U. Yeah. And then it, on the storefront is uh, Ro Rosamunde. Yeah, and they do these amazing sausages. Hugging. Yeah, hugging. And, uh, and they Embracing. have this perfect symbiotic relationship where they bring in. Uh, Beer. I, I mean, we have the beer, and they bring in the sausages, right? Yeah, absolutely, we have a symbi so. symbiotic relationship where beer and sausage can't think of a better combination. We got the fabulous sausages here. We have a whole selection. They have a great beer sausage over there with hot peppers and onions for Stephen. Uh, Big Daddy has a Nuremberg bratwurst, which are a bunch of small little sausages that they serve specifically in Nuremberg. Oh. And he's got um, what do you got on there? Mustard and kraut. Uh, yes. Okay, and then I've got this fabulous looking Weisswurst, um, and then there's a Knockwurst over here with chili and onions. I am excited so about this. So, I've got four fabulous like beers, because <laughs> he, he thinks he's going to do this, but I'm going to shuffle. I don't get that. We've got a Francis Conner Hefeweizen, a Blind Pig IPA, an Anchor Steam, and a Death and Taxes from Moonlight. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say Stephen gets the uh, Blind Pig. Of course. Always. I would have said there that. There you go. Too. And My favorite. Big Daddy has the Nuremberg worst, so he is actually going to get the Anchor Steam. Yes. And right. Classic. John's going to get the Death and Taxes. Nice. And my Weiss worst is going to have a Hefeweizen. So cheers, everyone. Cheers. cheers. Oh, oh. Beer's what are you trying to pour it? That's now what I got happened. beer sausage. Nice. <laughs> my bad. Oh. Lovely. God, I love that. Oh, beer. this is a beautiful Hefeweizen. Okay, oh, let's give it a shot. eat on camera? Oh, yeah, yes, we're eating we on can. camera. <laughs> I just tried this with the Hefeweizen. It goes perfectly. As you guys know from past episodes, German Hefeweizens are almost the perfect pairing beer. They can go with everything from uh, 
fruit and yogurt to cereal to an egg to fish and uh, the spice wars. No brainer. Mm -hmm. uh, Half of yeah. and Weiss yeah. So, how was yours, Big Daddy? Uh, actually, it's a classic combination classic San Francisco beer paired with a, a German sausage, but it seems to work really well. Well, yeah, this is a great, the steam beer is just such a great, historically, it has such a good malt background mm -hmm. that it pairs mm -hmm. well. What, what about you, uh, Stibble? That should this be perfect. Works, yeah, yeah, this works mm -hmm. really well because the, the sausage is kind of spicy, but you get that curry paste that really knocks the spice up. Right. And then there's peppers yeah. in there, too. And the peppers. And, and so you get all that spiciness, and right. it just really and, accentuates and, the nice hop character. And the, the beauty about beer is you can go with malt with something spicy, and it will totally dull it down and make it kind of uh, subdue it. it. But if you do something hoppy or bitter with uh, something spicy, it will cleanse your front mm -hmm. and mid palate, and then it will accentuate the heat on the back end mm -hmm. so it's not too hot but delicious. And finally, what do you think, John? Perfect. Uh, the chili on this really goes well with the beer. It's, and the sausage, is it's got a little bit of spice on it, right? but it's nothing I'd call spicy. Well, this is a black uh, lager, and so it goes really well because the caramelized notes are going to go great with the, the meat and yeah. the chili. It's perfect. I love and, it. and so it plays really well. So I think they were all pretty good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right on. This is I think I want to try them all. Bill, you wanted to talk briefly about... Uh... A lot of people come into Toronado and they go, wow, it's a it's this crazy dive bar, like exactly like Big Daddy set it up. Crazy dive bar with great beer list. But you have to remember, there's all these amazing Belgian beer bars out there now, uh, but none of them would be here without Toronado. Matter of fact, almost none of the craft beer bars, East Bay, San Francisco would be here. Toronado was the first. And so if you want to go to, there's a lot of great ones. Uh, I think I could easily mention them. La Trappe, uh, Monk's Kettle, right? Mm -hmm. The Trappist. Uh, Trappist. And they're great, and they're, they're strictly designed so that they have uh, Belgian food and Belgian beer, and they're fabulous. But you really owe it to yourself to come to the original. Look at Big Daddy's bottle list. It'll have an amazing <laughs> list of great Belgian ales. If Big Daddy's here, say hi to him. And I just think between that and the local craft beer that you have on and the different uh, Belgian-style beers you come in, I think it's just a fabulous place. And one, every beer connoisseur, aficionado, geek, owes it to themselves to come at least one time. Yeah, it's a right really on. cool place. Um, and Thank Big Daddy, you. a question that I have for you is, uh -huh. the this is San Francisco's Tornado. There's mm -hmm. one in San Diego. Are yes, you guys is. connected in any way other than the name? Or <clears throat> Absolutely. Uh, Ian, who owns uh, the Tornado in San Diego, was a bartender here for roughly 15 years. And he approached me with the idea of, uh, him and his wife moved to San Diego, and he approached me with the idea of opening a Tornado down there. So um, we have an, a licensing agreement he operates the Tornado uh, to a standard that uh, we've agreed upon, mm -hmm. and he's, I think he's doing a fantastic job, and uh, I'm glad to have him as a sister bar. Right on, cool. right on. So even if you can't make it to San Francisco, San Diego, you get a little flavor of it, but you definitely want to get up here and, and, and be at least drink in this place at least once in your life, because yeah, this, this is, is definitely a bucket list bar, yeah. bar to go to. So Dave, thank you so much for letting us come in here and take up space and Keep your door closed. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we really appreciate it. And cheers and expect a lot of great things. Cheers. Stay safe and take care.